Hi and welcome to the Azam Shop channel. I'm your host Mohammad Azam, uh, presenting you another screencast. And in this screencast, we are going to learn about delegates, uh, categories, and a little bit about protocols. And all these things are very, very important part of the Objective C language. So it's a good idea that you understand all of it. So let's actually focus on category first. So if you are programming, you have been programming in C sharp. So you know what extension methods are, right? Uh, you have a class, let's say string in C sharp, and you want to extend it. You want to add some other functions to it. I mean, the methods to it uh, so that you can utilize those methods in your own code. Then you basically extend them using extension methods. And the same concept is over here, uh, and it's called categories. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to implement an, uh, basically a category that will extend the nsString class. Okay, and we are going to add a method to the nsString class. It will be called isURL, and that will check that if the string is a URL or not. Uh, there are it doesn't really depend on the uh, the class name that I call it, but I usually like to call the extensions or the categories as the nsString plus utilities, or uh, so that you know it specifies that what it does. So it's a utility method that we're adding to nsString, and it will be kind of like extension method. That's why the plus sign. But you don't have to, you know, add a plus sign if you don't like it. So let's go ahead and say um, nsString and the category name will be utilities. Okay. We can add a function over here or I mean a method over here and this can be uh, is URL. Right. And we can go in the extension, uh, I mean the implementation file, change this also to uh, nsString utilities and now over here we can uh, try to implement that method. Did I say void or did I say okay URL? Now we are not really going to implement this, but you can actually implement it yourself. Uh, we're just going to return whatever. Yes. Okay. And if you do want to access the current string, the current instance, the current you know the string which has been extended, the value of the string, then you can simply say self. And that will refer to the string value. So if, if I have, let's say, if I'm saying, um, I don't know, foo dot is URL, then foo will become the self because this is what you're extending, right? Now, if you want to use this, it's pretty easy. Uh, all you need to do is to add uh, the header file, which in this case is NS string plus utilities, and you are all set to go. Uh, we can simply go over here and say, okay, we are declaring an string. We're just going to say some data. We don't really know what data is it. And then if I want to call that method, you can say that is URL is available. And this is the method that we just implemented. This is the uh, the categories, okay? The category. So that was the uh, the categories basically, which helps to extend an existing class um, quite useful when you have a class from a basically a third party and you want to add members to it then you can extend them uh, using the categories and you know add some members to it like that let's move to the uh, delegates and delegates are very very important because it allows you to create, I mean, there are multiple ways of creating a publisher subscriber model, but if you're passing between uh, like a, a single nested hierarchy view, okay, then for that purpose, you don't really have to use the NS notification center to pass the values. Of course, if you are very deep down into the hierarchy, then it might be a suitable, uh, you know, a, su a suitable means to, to use the NS notification center. But if you just want to pass the data around, if you want to notify that something has happened and you want to notify the observers or subscribers, then you can achieve that by using delegates. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a delegate. Let's say that we want to create 
uh, delegate or we want to basically notify people for when the customer is inserted into the database okay so we declare this by a protocol now protocol means that whatever you declare over here uh, it uh, other classes can be can conform to this protocol now protocol can have methods that are required or uh, they can be optional okay uh, if you and there are so many protocols that we have already seen like if you are working with the UI table uh, table view uh, data source delegate right then there are some methods that are required um, and some methods like cell for index and all that stuff those are required and the other uh, there are also optional um, you know optional methods that you don't really want to implement or don't have to implement okay so protocol we are going to name it customer service delegate okay so this will be our uh, protocol oops I'm missing something okay so this is a and then we we move to the the method so the method will be let's say um, void did save customer and we're just going to pass in the the name of the customer instead of, of the old customer okay um, of course this will also have a method called let's say save customer and that's this method belongs to the customer service okay so we are we have declared over here a customer service delegate and it has a method uh, which is called uh, did save customer uh, you can make it a required let's say if you say required okay so any class that conforms to this delegate then they have to implement or they will get a compiler warning um, if you don't have the required keyword then they don't really have to implement and you will get a, a warning instead of an error okay so we have this and uh, property non-atomic retained what we are going to say we are going to say id and then uh, customer service delegate and we are just going to say that this is a delegate okay so this is how you declare the property for the delegate this actually holds the delegate and the good thing about this is that um, it means that you can pass any any object any class basically that uh, that adheres to or that conforms to uh, the customer service delegate okay uh, let's go over here and we are going to say synthesize uh, delegate I think we still need to implement the save customer so here we go so over here we can say like save the customer okay so you just save the customer and now you need to say self dot delegate and uh, call this function now what this will do is this will go ahead and it's going to fire the delegation it's going to fire the event uh, and going to check that whoever conforms to this delegate and if they have a method name did save customer fire that fire that method okay so right now we don't really have any class that conforms to it so let's go back to the view controller and what we are going to do is use that delegate by saying that okay here we go so we have a customer service delegate so let's actually build this app and you can see that since we are um, you know that we are not using the required keyword in the delegate we get a warning by the compiler instead of getting an a uh, compiler error okay so now it's our job to implement this particular method of the delegate um, so we are going to implement the method over here and the method was what did save customer okay uh, so that is a method being fired and we can go ahead and make sure that this is fired uh, by just printing the name okay now save customer this particular save customer is fired whenever you press a save button it it has a little bit of interface just a button and when you press the button it will fire the save so what we are going to do is we are going to create the customer service instance and 
one important thing that you need to do is you need to tell the uh, the delegate that hey I I'm kind of like raises you need to raise your hand that hey I'm here I'm subscribing to the delegate uh, I'm uh, okay and I have implemented that method which is a did save customer so when whenever you save the customer and fire the did save customer event or you know the delegate method please notify me right so that's what we are saying over here customer service save customer and then you can fire anything so I'm just gonna pass in uh, John Doe okay and uh, let's run it so this is our simple app uh, where to go here we go and we when we as you can see when we press insert customer we are getting John Doe uh, you know kind of like displayed on the screen and this is displayed because whenever you save the customer which is this it fires the delegate actually fires the event or the method which says did save customer and it's going to look and it's going to say okay I'm going to now fire the did save customer method to all the classes that conforms to the delegate and I'm going to call the did save customer method which is this one and it calls uh, basically it calls the method in real world scenario in practical scenario this can be used in many 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 places because let's say that you have a table view and you have two screens one that the table view actually shows you a list and the other view is basically allowing you to add a new customer so you add a new customer okay and um, uh, you 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 add the new customer and then you return the customer to the list to the previous view which is the list the UI table view and you then add that customer into the array or into the collection which is bind to the list and you will see that the list is automatically updated with a new customer okay so that's pretty much it I hope you like this uh, screencast uh, and learn about the protocols the categories and as well as the delegates thank you very much